Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Ali Shonmo here. Look what I have in my hands here. The MGX RC Bugs 2. It's a bug series brushless RC quadcopter. And this one is basically a GPS based brushless RC quadcopter. Or we should say another cheap GPS camera quadcopter. Which actually offers standard GPS features in this quadcopter series at the back side of the box it says one key return when gps available gps mode intelligent orientation control low power automatic return barometer altitude hold and lost contact automatic return to home well you lose signal it will come back home hmm, nice well this is a kind of quadcopter which i believe is going to compete with uh hubson series quadcopters i believe I think so. So let's take it outside the box quickly. Batteries are charged and we will fly it right away. So this is how is it inside the box. MGX Bugs 2 with the battery here. It's a 7.4 volt 1800 mAh 25C LiPo battery. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it inside uh, the compartment. There we go. The, the connector, there's a balance port connector that hangs out here you have to adjust it properly it seems like there's no on off switch so as soon as i push it inside quadcopter will try to turn on so we'll just leave it here and we have a battery charger some uh, accessories with the usb dongle there was an 8 gb card as well so i'm just going to insert the card right here in the tf card slot all right and of course the uh, radio control is down there under the box you will find the radio control this is the radio control that has telemetry it has a uh, headless mode this button will activate gps or put it in the altitude hold mode or attitude hold mode take off or i mean uh, arm the motors take off land uh, go home and camera and picture. All right, seems good to me. Let's fly it right away. Shall we? Okay, all the calibration is done every time you turn on this quadcopter you have to calibrate the compass Which is a good thing not bad. All right, here we go Auto take off going away because we are not in GPS mode and now we are in GPS mode remember today is windy and it's the best day to test the GPS position hold all right and a little docile in GPS position hold mode but hey, it's holding the position pretty nice actually pictures are done GPS position hold is okay but not that good with the wind it just drifts away and tries to come back and then it loses the altitude as well. I mean, altitude goes up and down. So barometer is not probably programmed correctly or maybe it's not a good quality one. Anyway, it's holding the GPS position. So let's take a picture here. All right, here's a picture button. I think I got it. The LED lights don't show you anything. I think I got it. I see a little, little LED red one and I'm gonna get myself a shot maybe with the camera on my head. I look very dorky. Okay, we got it and big shot. All right, okay, let's record the video. I press it for a longer period of time. I mean the record button. And I believe it's recording the video. We will go to altitude hold mode or only attitude because that's where it flies more locked, I believe. Okay. Yes, flight performance in attitude hold mode is really nice. And man, it's a little fast, maybe with the wind only. It's coming back. With the angle of camera, probably, is just shooting the ground most of the time when you are, you know, going around. So I'm doing a panorama, my favorite 
and a little panorama here. Let's fly a little lower to the ground. I hope I don't crash it. Altitude hold is not that good as I mentioned. Let's take a higher shot. Man, today is a very good weather. I mean, look at it. The clouds and everything. I'll switch to GPS and see if it will hold position that high. Mm, nice, it's holding the position that high. So we're gonna get a panorama shot. All right, now we will reduce the altitude, doing some spirals. And remember that now we are flying in GPS mode, which is kind of a little docile. We'll click the auto return to home. Okay, it's rising up. It's coming back. Seems like it's back home. So auto return to home is working properly. My horizontal distance shows 14 meters and decreasing. Right, and it's coming back home, it came back home. This is almost the same place we took off from. Nice, very, very good man. There you go, your baby is back. Awesome, so we still have battery. How about we keep flying it? Right, let's shoot some more videos. Auto take off in GPS mode. And here we go. Pretty fast, man. Look how quick it goes far away. And we are flying on the desert now. Let's get lower. Let's not hit the tree. Let's not hit the dune. It's massive, it's fast. It's like kind of a sporty GPS aircraft with a camera on board. Nice GPS aircraft, that's what I would say. Receivers here shows three batteries. Transmitter here shows two batteries. I'm not sure if this is the battery for that aircraft or this side. But anyway, we will keep flying until the batteries run out. So we will know what was the flight time we got on this battery. Yes. Now I'm getting beeps here, RX battery got to 2 and the lights are blinking too. So it says that the low voltage auto return to home, let's check that out as well. So I will keep flying and see if it will come back home because of the low voltage or not. So, so we'll, give it some, we'll give it some punches, try to run the battery out. It's getting really windy now. Still flying. There's still no signs of coming back home. That's a lot of battery flight time and a lot of flight endurance for a cheap GPS helicopter here.
Okay. All right. It's coming back. It took all my controls away and it's started rising itself. The beeps have changed and it's coming back home. Awesome. This is nice, man. This is nice. I like it. The features are really nice and they are actually working properly. And here's the quad copter. Man, it's getting windy. Check it out. Sweet! Now those are some nice features they advertised and they actually work on this quadcopter. Liking it, it's basically a two thumbs up product. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.